Hello there. I'm going to tell you a wee story in a moment, but first I want to show you some pictures. If you walk along the catwalk path in West Linton, you come across lots of little gifts people have laid down. Many created by youngsters, given like a, an offering of kindness to anyone who walks that way. There are words just to make you feel better. Images of rainbows to give us hope, funny pictures to make us smile, each so simple and yet so rich in what it offers. The goal of the people who created them is to lift people's spirits, to help us see signs of light, remind us that kindness is around, to feel the love. These Painted stones remind us of the important things in life to aim for that really matter. The goal of making life better for others. Seeing all these painted stones on the path remind me of a, a story, a lovely story, about the holy man and the precious stone. It was early evening. The air was very still, and the holy man, who used to wander around the countryside, came to this tree where he settled down for the night. The tree was near a big rock, just beside a path at the foot of a huge mountain. There he was going to spend the night. He, all he had was a big stone as a pillow. He had very few belongings. He had long ago given up the idea of being successful or wealthy or even popular. He had all that he needed because he had realised that he needed very little. His peace was disturbed by the shouts of a man getting closer and closer who was running towards him in a very agitated state. I'm sure it must be you, he blurted out. I had a dream last night telling me to come to this tree by this rock beside this path at the foot of this mountain. And here a wandering holy man would give me a priceless stone and I would be rich forever. I've been looking for you all day, he added with excitement. I've been searching, searching, searching. I'm so glad now that I've found you. The man rummaged in his bag. He took out this huge stone and he said to the man, perhaps this jewel is the stone in your dream. I happened to find it on the path. Please take it. The man's mouth dropped open in amazement. His eyes grew large with delight. He'd never dreamed that a diamond could be so enormous. As he carried it away to his home, he was glowing with satisfaction and fulfilment. His long day of searching had not been in vain. But that feeling didn't actually last all that long. By the end of the evening, he began to feel very troubled. He tried to sleep, but he tossed and turned all night. He wanted to plan what he would do with his new riches how he would enjoy all the new possessions, his new wealth, all the new opportunities life now had in store for him, perhaps all the new friends he would have. But he couldn't get this holy man out of his mind, thinking about what happened that day, thinking about what it all might mean. Before dawn the next morning, he got up, he went back to the tree near the big rock beside the path at the foot of the mountain. The man was just coming awake after a night's sleep. And the man laid the diamond down before the holy man and he asked, Please, can I have the precious gift you have within you? that made you give away this stone.
Sometimes we would love to make the world a better place. That's a huge goal. But you know, if we begin with small steps, little gifts laid down, offered to others, it raises their spirits and it also lifts our hearts. Every act of kindness, however small, every smile, every word of encouragement to another person, every rainbow in a window, every painted stone laid down in a path is an offering of a special and a priceless gift which enriches the lives of the people who encounter it. Bye for now and I hope to see you soon.